vast majority of people, the fear is not of the outside circumstances. The fear is of what we're going to experience within ourselves. And I think a big part of my getting over my stage fright and helping other people do the same is to help them to center in on what is going on inside my own skin rather than what is going on on the outside. You know, the, the triggers that, that fire off that adrenaline response certainly are outside of ourselves, but they can also, as you said, be about what we do with it. You know, we run the run the uh, the resent the, the regret rehearsal you know um, to the point where we're really causing ourselves anxiety unnecessary anxiety oh I like that phrase unnecessary anxiety I hope people really mm-hmm. grab on to that one because Unne- that, unnecessary anxiety absolutely yes yeah so much of anxiety is unnecessary but we've pointed to the one that happens post when you put yourself out and have been seen and heard and feel like, Oh, it wasn't enough. Yeah. Well, and for me too, it was, it was, and I, this goes kind of back to tracing the origins of it. It was the fear of feeling humiliated, right. Or fear of feeling embarrassed, fear of feeling, um, uh, things that I have felt in the past that were excruciatingly painful feeling humiliated, feeling like the brunt of a joke, feeling like, you know, people are laughing about me or talking about me behind my back, things like that. And I think that's why after I gave a speech, it wasn't the same with singing. With singing, I was afraid from, you know, beginning to end. But that phenomenon of of needing reassurance was for me, because I could tell on the inside, it was more about, did I humiliate myself? Was I, did I embarrass myself? Are people talking about me? you know, that kind of thing. And uh, that's not the same for everybody necessarily, but it was certainly true for me. Well, I like the way you linked it to something earlier where these messages or where the insecurity starts, which is often really earlier about, and who knows, maybe you did have, and people do have those experiences where they are bullied, where they are shamed, where they are uh, singled out as somebody to laugh at and that that sticks in that in that brain and you're talking about energy energy that um, let's say i don't know like a wound is an energy thank you for being with us today for this episode of find your voice change your life each person during interviews shares what has helped them find their voice you can learn from these guests and find your voice so you can be confident to speak up and speak out And remember to download Doreen's free seven-step guide to fearless speaking at Doreen7steps.com. We hope you enjoyed the show and we'll return next time. Until then, goodbye for now.